loves welcome back so today's video is going to be this Selena inspired makeup and hair so Selena was so beautiful if you don't know who she is look her up I'm not talking about Selena Gomez I'm talking about Selena Quintanilla so definitely look her up on Google and if you have not seen the movie Selena you are missing out and I highly recommend you watch it if you ever have some free time with the Jennifer Lopez she does an amazing job in it and it's such an inspirational beautiful movie it's one of my favorites I've probably watched it like a hundred times growing up and I watch it every once in a while now because I have it on DVD no lie I'm obsessed with it and it just doesn't get old to me so anyways if you look up Selena you can definitely really really if you look up Selena on Google the main thing that stands out about her when it comes to her makeup are her brows her lips and her winged liner and I'm obsessed with that look because I think it's so classic and beautiful and it looks good on everyone so this is the picture that I use for inspiration because you can really see the hair and the makeup and all her features that pop so I'm obsessed with it so this is obviously inspired by her I'm not saying that I look like her or anything but it's also a really gorgeous look for the fall season because I feel like the trend of simple eyes and bold lips just never gets old every season this is what a lot of people do and it's so beautiful like I said it just compliments everyone so I love this look I hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you think of it down below and if you want to know how I get it then I will see you soon hey guys so you know the deal my eyelids are primed and I already did my eyebrows off camera I used the salon perfect light brown pomade this gets so repetitive that's why I always do it off camera because I already have a tutorial on it and I just like to save time as for my lips before all of my tutorials I'm always wearing the methyl lip tint from Bath and Body Works it's just like this clear gloss but it's like medicated and it smells just like cinnamon it's amazing it also makes your breath smell really good like mint so I just don't like to have chap lips in my tutorials so this is what I always wear in all of my tutorials before applying lipstick so the first thing I'm going to do is take this morphe eyeshadow this one is in the number 15 and it's just a really nice soft brown color and I'm just gonna dust that right into my crease I'm not really being too precise with it I'm putting it all over my lid above my crease up to my brow bone just everywhere in a lot of the pictures that I saw of Selena she looks like she doesn't even have any eyeshadow on like it's just a very light wash of like a peachy brown shade so the main focus as I mentioned is going to be the brows the liner and the lips so I wanted to keep the eyeshadow super super simple so I'm just gonna add that just to give it a nice wash of color but nothing too dramatic Next, I'm going in with this other eyeshadow from Morphe as well. This one is number 04, and it's just a really nice creamy white shade. If you watch my tutorials, you know I always like to highlight my brow bone because I feel like it just makes everything stand out, especially the arch of my brows. So I'm just applying that right to my brow bone, and you can really see that it just makes a difference, and I just like the way that it looks. Then I'm just taking a blending brush just to blend the brow bone color with that brown shade that we used. So then, surprise, surprise, I'm doing my eyeliner and I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, of course. I'm doing this pretty dramatic because I want it to stand out and be the main focus of the eyes besides the lashes. And I said to myself, I'm not going to do it too thick, kind of like medium, and then I ended up doing this. So <laughs> that's my struggle every day. I don't mean to do thick winged liner, it just happens. <laughs> So then for lashes, I'm using these Kiss Lashes. They're number 11. I just got these from Walmart. And then I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive, which I am obsessed with. This was actually my first time using these Kiss Lashes, like this style, and I already love them. They remind me of the Demi Wispies, but I think I like these more because they're a lot fluffier and fuller. Next, I'm going to be taking MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Mine is in the shade NC25, and right here you're going to see that it looks super ashy, and it doesn't look like my color, but I promise you it's going to oxidize a little bit, and then it will match me perfectly. So, Selena has really gorgeous porcelain skin, and I chose MAC Studio Fix Fluid because it really gives you a flawless canvas. It's medium to full coverage, and this is a beautiful foundation, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for something for a night out or just like an everyday basis it's amazing 
So then for concealer, I'm going in with Maybelline Fit Me. This one is in the shade Light. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers from the drugstore. It's really easy to blend, it's creamy, and it's medium to full coverage. So it gives you a really nice coverage without being super cakey or thick on the face. So of course, I'm going to be blending everything out with the Beauty Blender because this is my favorite way to blend out concealer and foundation because I feel like it really just absorbs into your skin really nicely. Like it almost looks airbrushed and just really flawless so the beauty blender is my holy grail and i definitely recommend it to set my concealer i'm going to be using the revlon photo ready pressed powder and this one's in the shade light and i'm just going to use this elf blush brush to apply that to all the areas where i have just applied the concealer then I'm going to go ahead and set my brows. I'm using the L'Oreal Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Medium to Dark. I'm going to set them, and I like this because it also darkens them up a little bit because whenever I apply powder, they tend to get a little bit ashy from the product. Next for bronzer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Coconut. This is the darkest shade, and I'm just going to use this to bronze my skin very lightly, nothing too crazy. Selena's skin doesn't really look like it has much blush or bronzer or anything like that, but I'm doing this just so my face doesn't look so flat, and bronzer just really gives it life and dimension. So I'm using this stippling brush by Sigma, but you can use any stippling brush. Anything will work when it comes to applying bronzer to your face. The final thing I'm going to do for the eyes is just apply some Bottom Lash Mascara. Moving on to the lips, I'm using this lip liner by L'Oreal. It's in the shade Rouge. It's just a classic red shade. I'm just going to use this to line and fill in my lips and just prep them for the lipstick that I'm going to be using. Using red lip liner really helps to outline your lips. It also will prevent the lipstick from bleeding and it will just make it last longer as well. So today for lipstick, I'm using this gorgeous one by Rimmel. It's in the shade Diva Red. It's funny because when you look at it in the tube, it looks like a deep, bloody, rampy color. But when you apply it, it's a true red shade. This is super moisturizing and it does have a bit of a glossy tint. If you don't like glossy lips, you can just take a paper towel and just blot it to make it more matte. So now moving on to the hair, what I'm going to do first is of course take a heat protectant spray. I always like to do this when applying heat to my hair just to prevent any damage. And this is by Tresemme. It's my all-time favorite because it doesn't leave any nasty residue or stickiness in my hair. And it really protects it and leaves it nice and shiny. Plus it smells good. So after I apply that, I'm just going to take my brush and just brush it through. And then I like to section off my hair. And I always just start from the bottom and then just work my way up whenever I'm curling or wanding or whatever, waving my hair. That's just how I like to do it. So today I'm going to be using the Conair Infinity Pro Curling Iron. I got this from Walmart. What I'm going to do is take about medium section of pieces and I'm just going to be wrapping my hair around the curling iron as if it was a curling wand because I don't like to use the clamp. So I'm going to leave it in for about five to 10 seconds because I don't really want my hair to be super curly. I want it to be more like beachy waves. And I know Selena has beautiful natural Natural curly hair unfortunately I don't but remember this is all inspired by her because obviously hers is beautiful and mine is just blah but as you can see I'm definitely not a hair person I am definitely all about the makeup you guys like if I could pay someone to do my hair I definitely would but as you can see here it's very self-explanatory what I'm doing with it and this is what the final result looks like it's just very nice beachy loose waves which I love so now for the half up half down hairstyle all I do is obviously just take the top crown of my hair and then I just like to secure it with a hair tie and one thing I don't like though is when the hair tie is showing at the top even though it's black and I have black hair I like to just cover it up so what I do is just take a small piece of the um, ponytail that I just did and just wrap it around the hair tie a few times just to cover up the black hair tie and then I just like to secure that with a bobby pin and look how funny my hands look like right here is proof that hair is not my thing but that pretty much completes this hair and makeup inspired by Selena. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think down below and let me know some other celebrities you guys would like me to recreate looks from. So thank you guys so much for all your love and support. It really means a lot to me. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!